Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Last time we got the secret key from the mansion and now we're ready to take on the gym leader, Elaine. I'm kind of curious though, hold on. Cinnabar Island Pokemon Sim, Gym, Gym, Gym Leader Blaine, Certified Trainer Brian. How? How could Brian have possibly got in here? He didn't have the key. I got it. Blaine's think, always thinking up ways to keep the families of the scientists who live here from getting bored. This gym is certainly interesting. What is this? Blaine's not very good as an MC, but he's red hot when it comes to the battles. There's not too much to get excited about here on Cinnabar Island. I'll look forward to more heated battles and sizzling quizzes today. Ha ha ha, Blaine's so funny. Hmm. What'd you say? Ready to start? No need to be shy then, step right up. This is new. Here we go. This is the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym, Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. Get one right and you get a Blaine doll. Get a question wrong and you'll have to battle one of my students here. But if you manage to beat them, then don't worry. You'll still get a Blaine doll. Think you can collect five Blaine dolls? Here we go. The first question. Quiz time. Which of these is the Spitfire Pokemon? Alright, so listen. I'm a little conflicted. But what I really want to do is get the questions wrong so I can fight the trainers. Because that's more challenging, right? I mean, the answer to this question is Magmar, but if I get it wrong, I can fight a trainer. So, yeah. Sorry, bad call. I know, I picked it wrong on purpose. Too bad, you were close, but ultimately wrong. The challenger must face the penalty match against one of the trainers I instruct. <laughs> this makes- this is horrible, okay? Every Pokemon game they do this, and every game I feel like an idiot getting these questions wrong on purpose just so I can fight the trainers. They should give me the option to fight them anyways if I want to. I mean, look at this. A level 45 Charmeleon. I mean, you can't tell me this isn't worth it. It's the experience I want. Besides, I can wipe the floor with all these people easily. Combustion occurs when the oxygen in the air mumble, grumble, grumble. A hard won victory. You've won a Blaine doll. Alright, let's move on to the second question. Quiz time. How many gym badges certified by the Pokemon League are there? You're kidding me with this, right? Eight. There's eight gym badges. I'm going to hit seven so I can get the uh, trainer battle. Sorry, bad call. Too bad. You were close, but ultimately wrong. I used to be a thief, but I went straight. Oh, thank God. For a second there, I thought we were getting fucking robbed. Why would Blaine let himself get robbed like this? Did he still goes by Burger Quinn. Out of pure curiosity, I might as well answer one of the questions correct so I can see what happens when you do get a right answer. I surrender. A hard won victory. You've won a Blaine doll. We're not done yet. The second question. Hold on, Mr. Blaine. This is the third question. The third question. Quiz time. A steel type move used on a fire type Pokemon will be not very effective. Well, that's boring. Challenger has assembled three Blaine dolls. On to the fourth question. Quiz time. True or false? TM28 contains the move Tombstoney. Uh, I like how there's an option that says, What's that? I'm gonna go with that one. What? That was the right answer? What? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get this wrong. God. Final question. Challenger Gregory, tell me, who are you about the battle? 
Oh, great. If I knew I was going to get the wrong question, the answers right automatically, I would have just got the third one wrong on purpose to get the trainer battle there, too. Challenger Gregory, tell me who you are about the battle. Blaine, the Cinnabar, fi Cinnabar Island gym leader, a fire type pro, a hot headed quiz master, a mustached old man, an old guy in sunglasses. All these are the right answer. Ha! Whoa, that was pretty cool. Pikachu's in shock. Challenger, you have obtained five plane dolls. Which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blaine, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! Hope you brought some burn heals. Gym leader Blaine. Dude, his eyes! He reminds me of Grimm from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Rapidash is next, huh? Flare Blitz? Oh, this is gonna hurt. in there, Dragonair. Take the next hit with grace. That's a proud Pokemon. Let's knock it down some, shall we? Flare Blitz again. Hi there, Nine Tails. Fire Blast. Now that's a powerful hit. Good thing I've got my own. You beat Gym Leader Blaine. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned a Volcano Badge. Here, you can have this TM too. 46 Fire Blast from Blaine. A Red Hot Fire type move. Teach it to Fire type Pokemon. Volpix or Charmander would be ideal. Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on Water type Pokemon. I doubt I can really use that on Water types, but I mean, he's given me an idea. Given that Flareon has two attacks that deal recoil damage, maybe I should give Flareon Fire Blast instead of one of the weaker, the weaker move, you know? Get rid of Takedown.
Pikachu is still shaking uncontrollably. Good job, Pikachu. What I really want to know is how in the world did Brian get in here? I guess we're about to find out. Ah, so this is where you were. I thought you might have made your way to Cinnabar Island by now. Did you beat Blaine? Really? Congratulations. You need to have eight gym badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? I've got seven already, which means that the only one left is... Yeah, it must be the gym in Viridian City, right? It was closed up last time I checked, though. Have you been in Viridian City gym yet, Gregory? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by Viridian City one more time. That's true. Viridian City is the only one left. I suppose we should make our way there then, fast too. That gym battle was awfully easy. I guess I wasn't expecting that, but let's keep moving here. A PP up. Alright, so we're heading north from here, and that should do it. I mean, some trainers here and there, but right now I'm a triathlon meet. What? Swimmer Jerome. Gosh dang it. Let's try Dragonair and use Outrage to see how well it works. Dragonair. Hint, hint, hint. He's sick. We must get him to the doctor. No trainers hiding around here. I really wish they wouldn't make these surfing areas so huge in terms of size. Ah, feel the sun and the wind. Oh, I am, trust me. Swimmer Roland. That's a problem that happens so often on this game. Now, I have one more thing I'd like to point out, but once this game is over, it'll be up to you all to decide if you'd like me to do some extras, like say catch Mewtwo and stuff. I will have an episode like that, but there is going to be one thing I'm going to do regardless, and it's going to give be give my thoughts on this game. Because since it's a blind let's play, I have to give my opinion, right? Obviously the rest of them I kind of tell you my opinions throughout. But this one I've never played, so... Yeah, expect me to give my thoughts on this game following this in another episode of some kind. Yeah, get down, Starmie.
lost. Alright, so here's another fun fact, but I'm actually super OCD in my Pokemon games, and I know I like, I usually try to have my starter Pokemon being a higher level than the rest, but I don't know how much longer this Let's Play is going to go on, and I would really, really like to see Dragonair evolve beforehand. So, here comes some rare candies. There he is. What a good boy. Your Dragonair evolved into Dragonite. Somebody say, somebody get Mr. Jum's attention in the, the chat here. It is said that this Pokemon lives somewhere in the sea that, and that it flies. However, these are only rumors. Dragonite wants to learn Wing Attack. Yeah, I can deal Wing Attack. Hey, don't disturb the water. I'm not, I'm just surfing. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Sailor Claude. Claude? Killed it. Macho. Let's test out Dragonite. Now that's a nice guy right there. That wasn't even the attack I wanted either. Sorry, I thought you were disturbing the water. Fisherman Nolan. And the cruel. Yeah, Starmie. Lighten up. That burns sometime. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm kind of curious, but can Dragonite follow me out here because of it being a flying type? I caught my Pokemon at sea. Swimmer Jack. I will live all these attacks, trust me. Diver down. Cleanses my body and soul. Mine too. Swimmer Spencer. I guess you can't really evolve as a Kingdra without a friend to trade with, huh? So the surfer is sort of lonely. Ah, uh, dude, they're only using like one-word answers here. I think. I think they know. What's wrong with me swimming? Challenged by Roughneck Martin. I'm so powerful now, though. It's like nothing can stand in my way. See what happens when you get your Pokemon team ready to go? You can defeat any Pokemon that stands in your way. Especially when you get a oh, Pikachu that can use a water type move that has a chance of paralyzing. What even is this? Isn't that a little overpowered in a way? Heavens to Betsy, what the hell's with all these creatures? Um, what? Hey, you, are you going to Cinnabar Island by any chance? I'm bored. Is it okay if I coach you a bit? Did I just ride on the back of that? Oh, hell yeah. I'm keeping that on the rest of this game. Maybe. I just think that's the coolest thing ever. So I can ride on Dragonite on land, and I can ride on Lapras at sea. It's almost like I knew what was going to happen, except that I didn't. I didn't. Anyway, coach trainer abroad. Pika! Jinx. 
this is a chance for Flareon to try out Fire Blast. Or not. Oh, come on. With that putting me to sleep, it's gonna have like Dream Eater or some stupid thing like that, right? Who doesn't wake up when you get body slammed? Flareon, come on. We can, we gotta get up. It's the only way. Get up. Holy cool. There we go. Now show her your stuff. If Flareon still doesn't love me yet. How long is it gonna take Lapras, Dragonite, and Flareon to love me? Ice Punch? Don't die, Dragonite. Hang in there. Good. That's that. Seriously strong. So sick. Give you a little present. Ice Punch, huh? Not a bad one. Alright, you want to see some more non-stop action? Come back next time and we'll take on some more stuff. Thanks for watching.